Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 Mathematics exam. Today we will discuss about the vector calculus question which asked in uh, GATE 2022. We will discuss all these three questions with the help of the shortcut quick. You can simply follow my telegram link which is given as here or you can scan them. Else you can simply follow my YouTube channel link where you can find the various videos related to this GATE examination. So let's start with this question number one. So the work done, you have to find the work done of this force are there. That's very simple I think. What is the work done is F dot dm. That is all of you know that over this whatever the curve is given to you, which is given that is the circle which are upper part of the circle from 1 comma 0 to minus 1 0. Your target is to find like this. So what is that? So that is nothing. What is the F dot dr? What is the dr is dx i cap dy j cap in the xy plane so what is the f dot dr so you can see this is x plus y of dx minus x square plus y square of dy now you can integrate over this curve c now how you can do that there are the two method one is you can use the cartesian other way you can use the polar that is the r cos theta and y is r sin theta and clearly say that r is nothing but my 1 so you can simply take r is there but that will take some time but i can simply solve it with the help of this so on this curve that is from 1 to minus 1 what is the value of the y so this circle is my x square plus y square is 1 what is the value of the y is root 1 minus x square this is my 1 what is the value of the dy so y is from here y is my this so what is the dx is dy is minus over here this is the simple uh, uh, this is the, this is my here now you can integrate over this here so what is that this is from 1 to minus 1 i can take as a negative so what is that if, if i take a negative then it's from minus 1 to plus 1 now if i open this bracket x dx from minus 1 to 1 1 minus x square plus x over 1 minus x square of dx now you all know whenever it's from minus 1 to plus 1 this integration goes to the 0 because this is my odd function this goes to the 0 because this is the odd function the only thing is my here so what is that this is 0 plus x 1 minus x square by 2 plus a of sine inverse x over minus 1 to plus 1 so what is the answer of this so when you substitute 1 it's a 0 sine inverse of 1 is my pi by 2 plus and lower limit is minus so it's a again 0 it's minus half sine inverse of minus 1 is pi by 2 is now what is the answer of this you can see pi by 2 is a pi by 4 plus pi by 4 is nothing but my pi by 2 minus pi by 2 is the right answer so minus pi by 2 is my b is the correct option of this problem Look at the another one so this is the surface area so how you can find the surface area that is nothing but the integration of 1 plus dz upon dx square plus dz upon dy square that's a simple uh, area of this over the dx dy now you can integrate them what is that 1 plus partial derivative of this this is nothing but my 2x so it's a 4x square plus 4y square dy dz now over this one is over the x and other is y it is given that z is my 0 to 1 it means your target is to find the plane the surface area over this that is this is my here and over this so what you can do you can simply convert into the polar coordinates so x is r cos theta y is my r sin theta that's why it lies in between them make sure that r is not equal to 1 because it is from this to this so it can be of this circle as well so if you substitute here so what will happen this is nothing but my 1 plus 4 is 1 plus 4 r square dx dy is nothing but r dr d theta so what is the limit it's a circle so it's from 0 to 1 and angle is from 0 to 2 pi it's a complete circle so what is the integration of this so if you take 4 r square is say y then it's 8r dr is nothing but my dy so if i multiply this by 8 and divide it by 8 that's the same thing so it is nothing but my 1 plus 
for r square of 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 over the interval 0 1 so what is the answer of this 1 by 8 is outside this will be constant so it's a 2 pi minus 0 when is a 1 it's a 5 raised to power 3 by 2 minus of 1 divided by 3 by 2 means 2 by 3 so it's a 4 it's a 2 so it will be pi upon 6 5 root 5 minus 1 is the right answer so you can take them into the decimal places after that you will get the right answer look what the another one is so you have to find the rate of the change at the point so rate of the change is nothing but my gradient of this over the direction from p0 to p1 so i call this as say vector my uh, v vector v over no mode of so what is the gradient of f so this is with respect to x so we can find this partial derivative i this with respect to y and this with respect to the z so what i can do is i can simply find with respect to x so it is 1 plus cos z what is partial derivative with respect to y is minus sin z plus 1 what is the partial derivative with respect to z is minus x of sin z now at the point which are from the point p0 so we can find the point 2 minus 1 0 what is the gradient value so z is 0 cos 0 is 1 it will be 2 sin 0 is 0 it will be 1 when z is sin 0 is 0 it will be my 0 that's a simple uh, the, sorry is a with respect to z so it part also be there minus y cos z so it's my plus 1 so that is my gradient of this now what is the v so we all know it from p0 to p1 so what is the direction ratio of the p0 to p1 so that is 0 minus 2 1 minus minus plus and 2 minus 0 so it will be minus 2 2 and 2 so if you if you cal this is my v if you calculate this it is nothing but my 4 plus 4 plus 4 what is that this is 12 4 root 3 so 2 root 3 r so substitute this value here what is that gradient of 2 i cap that is my 2 i cap plus j cap plus k cap and dot product of this minus 2 i cap plus 2 j cap plus of 2 k cap over 2 root 3 so it will be my minus 4 plus 2 plus 2 over this so the answer will be my 0 is the correct answer so this is the way you can simply solve this rate of the change by using this directional derivative of the product. I hope you can simply learn this concept too in a very simple manner. You can see our next lecture on the partial differential equations of all those questions with the help of shortcut tricks. Till then you can simply follow the playlist CSRnet channel name Dr. Harishkar where you can find the previous videos. I hope you can like, share and comment this video with your friends. Happy learning students. Thank you.